in this video i'll be showing you how to download a playstation 2 to your pc for this particular method we'll be using pcs x2 the emulator you're also going to need playstation 2 bios and also playstation 2 games in a dot iso format and various others i will not be showing you how to get the games or the bios but if you go to the link in the description surprise there should be something there for you so you can follow along with us step by step on this method the first thing i want you to do is go to this website right here which is the official pcs x2 emulator website i want you to find where it says latest nightly i want you to select whatever system you will be downloading this emulator on for this particular method we'll be using windows once you select the download and it completes i want you to go ahead and drag it to your desktop once you download it to your desktop you're going to need an extraction tool like 7-zip or winward for this particular method we'll be using winward i want you to right click on the download i want you to scroll down to winward and i want you to simply go to extract files we're also going to extract the ps2 bios i want you to right click on it and simply go to extract all you should get two new folders one with your ps2 bios in it unzipped and also one with your pcs x2 emulator in it unzipped i want you to double click on the folder that's extracted with your pcs x2 emulator in it you want to look for this indication right here which is your emulator we're going to double click on it and we should be greeted by this screen when we're at the welcome screen we want to select our language and we're also going to select our theme i'm going to select english and i'm also going to keep it on a dark fusion theme we also want to make sure that enable automatic updates is selected for us the next thing we're going to do is simply click next this is where we'll upload our bios like i said i could not show you where to get the bios from but if you went to the link in the description you should be more than successful to follow along within this download i want you to go ahead and click browse and i want you to find a folder that has your bios in it i want you to select it and simply click select folder how you know your bios was uploaded correctly is because you should be greeted with these four indications right here we're going to select usa for this particular method if you want to select a region that's other than USA, go ahead and be my guest. After we do that, we're going to go ahead and simply click Next. Once we do that, we want to select and find the folder where our PlayStation 2 games are located. This particular emulator takes various files like .iso, .chd, just to name a few. But if you go to Add right here, all you have to do is find the folder that has your PlayStation games in it and then click select. Once you click select, you should be greeted with this indication right here. You're going to select yes and we're going to select next. It's now time to set up our controller. Whatever controller that you have plugged up to your PC is the controller that your emulator is going to pick up on. We want to go to automatic mapping. Now for this particular method, we'll be using an Xbox controller. We want to go down where it says X input and we want to simply select that controller. This particular emulator automatically maps out the buttons, but later on in the video, I'll be showing you how to do that manually as well. Once we select our controller, we want to select next. We should be greeted by a setup complete page. We want to simply click finish and now you should see all your games upload for you we want to go to the top where it says settings and then we want to simply click where it says interface the only thing we want to select in this particular one is start on full screen we want to then go to where it says game list this is where you will add any games that's not really updating what i mean by that is if you add a game and it's not popping up for you this is where you'll go and then you will simply select scan for new games 
and that's where your new game should pop up for you the next thing we're going to do is go to bios once we're at bios this is where if you want to change the region of your bios this is where you'll select another region and simply select it once we do that we want to go to where it says graphics we want to go to the top where it says renderer once we're here if you have a pretty okay pc we're going to go ahead and select vulcan once we select vulcan we're going to then go to the adapter and we're going to find our graphics card we're going to make sure that our graphics card is selected the next thing we're going to do is go to the aspect ratio naturally the playstation 2 is in this three by two progressive ratio but we're going to go ahead and select 16 by 9 to make it widescreen and i'm going to show you why later on after we do that we want to go ahead and go to rendering once we do that we want to go ahead and select 1080p if you want to go ahead and boost it up depending on your graphics go ahead and be my guest the next thing we're going to do is go to the filtering and we're going to select times eight we're not going to really touch anything in audio the next thing we're going to do is go to memory card we're going to name our memory card whatever you want to name it we're going to name it memory we're going to make sure it's the 8 mb and we're going to simply put okay once we do that we're going to go ahead and right click it and then we're going to go ahead and use it for slot one we're now done in the settings tab this particular emulator is so great because it has automatic updates or patches connected to it like i said some of these playstation games come in a three by two ratio naturally so with some of these patches they stretch the games to 16 by 9 so you can get a better playthrough with the game if you simply right click on the game and you find where it says patches you'll see all the patches that are aligned with that particular game now if we click on god of war for example and we right click and we go to patches if you go down as you can see here it has a 16 by 9 patch all you have to do is click enable and you should be good so once you load it it should automatically indicate the patch for you we're going to change our games to the grid view as you can see here once you change the emulator to the grid view the games have no particular graphics to them now i'm going to show you where to get the graphics from i want you to go to this page right here which is the github page i want you to scroll all the way down right here and it has two selections for you you can get the 3d format of the cover art or you can get the original cover of the cover arts me i like the 3d covers so what you'll do you'll select here you'll copy this link and then i want you to go back to the playstation 2 emulator i want you to go to the top where it says tools i want you to go where it says cover downloader i want you to paste where the cover is downloaded at and then i want you to simply click start once you do that let us do its thing and the cover should go ahead and download for you the last thing i want to show you is how to configure your controller if you want to change anything on it i want you to go to the top where it says settings i want you to go where it says controller and then i want you to select where it says port one this is where you will bind the keys of your controller if you want to change any binding in the keys now to play the emulator all you have to do is double click on the game and it should open up for you if this helped you in any way shape or form go ahead and hit that like and don't forget to go ahead and sub if you have any particular games on the playstation 2 that you would like to see me play go ahead and put that in the comments as well thank you for watching